the guilt of relapsing on semen retention. What you have to realize is you are on a journey to become better. You are on a journey to be a better man, right? You have to get over that guilt of feeling as if you're a failure because you relapse. This can go for NoFap as well. Because what you have to realize is simply you are still a human being. You are still a man. You still have sexual urges. And also stop putting all your eggs in one basket in the sense that semen retention is this sacred superpower, which not saying, you know, it doesn't have great benefits. But I'm sorry to tell you, man, if is excuse me. It's a lot of successful men out here who are not doing semen retention. Hell, it's successful men out here who still admit that they masturbate and watch porn. So, you know, this whole mindset that if you masturbate or if you watch porn, which I personally don't think you should be doing, or if you have sex, that you're going to be nothing for the rest of your life. You're not going to be shit is not true. And, you know, I preach semen retention. You know, I preach no fap. I love that shit, man. And I, I want men to do that. But I don't like the, the the beating yourself up and tearing yourself down because you relapse, bro. Like, at the end of the day, like I say all the time, this is not a cult. This is simply a tool. You know, you have to do things in your life to become better overall. And this is just a, a tool, a stepping stone in doing that. So let me give you an example real fast. If you are truly working on your business, right? I'll just use business, for example. You're working on your business. You're putting the work in day in, day out, right? For two years. Now you're starting to see rewards. You know, you've been doing your semen retention as well. And then you relapse on semen retention. Your business is not fin to just disappear. Your business is not just finna crash, right? Because your business, why semen retention may gave you the motivation, you know, it may gave you the fuel. At the end of the day, your business is not based on semen retention. Your business is based on what you put in it. What you put in is what you get out. So I'm saying all that to say, just because you relapse from semen retention, stop believing that, oh, you're going to be a bum or, oh, you're a failure. Oh, now I'm not going to ever be nothing. Oh, I, I gave up my manhood. I'm never going to be rich now. Like, no, bro. It's people out here who, who can give two fucks about semen retention. Trust me, I have friends, like... That don't care. Like, I try to tell them about semen retention and no fap, and they like, I don't give a fuck. And they still doing good in life. You know, one of my best friends, man, he about to buy his first house. And, you know, he don't, you know, he openly admit that he still watch porn. And, you know, of course he has sex. He has a, a bunch of fucking kids. But, man, this dude makes money, man. He don't give a fuck about semen retention. When I try to tell him, he's like, so what? Now, I'm not saying this so you don't give a fuck because it is important and it does have benefits. I'm just simply saying, stop tearing yourself down, bro. Semen retention or no fap is not the end all be all. And I might upset some people for saying this, but I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you my truth. Yes, I want you practicing semen retention. Yes, I want you to stop watching porn for the rest of your life. But at the same time, I don't want you destroying yourself and feeling like you're less than because you decide to engage in sex. You are a fucking human being. You are a man, bro. You still have sexual urges. You still find women sexually attractive, right? This is natural, bro. God made us this way. So at the end of the day, yes, we can retain, but at the same time, it is natural to, you know, want to mate with a woman because we are here to reproduce. We are here to procreate. So stop beating yourself up. Now, as far as nofap relapse, you know, okay, like I understand because porn is very toxic, you know, so I understand being a little harder on yourself for, you know, re feeling bad for relapsing and watching porn. I understand that a little more, but at the same time, like I say, even with NoFap, it's a work in progress, man. As men, we are sexual beings, we're sexual creatures. What we are doing, man, is not going to be easy. It's, in fact, extremely difficult. But doesn't mean it can't be done. But anything you are doing is going to see failure. This is how you learn to get better. You think everybody who plays sport, everybody who runs track, everybody who swims, they just amazing. Like a person who runs track, he just get it right on the first try. He, he just jumps over hurdles. He's just amazing. He just wins all the trophies. Or do you think he, he fails? He runs behind on time. You think he, he, you know, he injures himself. You know, he. 
He messes his legs up. He tried to jump over the hurdle and, and end up hitting his leg over the hurdle and flipping over. You think when somebody first start playing basketball, you think they just pick up a ball and they make every shot and they never miss a shot ever again in their life? Or do they miss? Do they make mistakes? Do they play against somebody? Do they get their ball blocked? It's the same with semen retention. It's the same with NoFap. Like, what we are doing is going to see failure sometimes because it's not easy. That's why I always tell people, stop telling people that NoFap is easy and semen retention is easy because it's not. Even if it's easy for you, good for you. It's not easy for everybody. <laughs> like, that's why I don't preach semen retention and NoFap is easy because I know it's hard as fuck. But doesn't mean it can't be done. So, you know, as far as feeling guilty for relapsing, bro, if you, you know, you got a girlfriend or you, you went ahead and got yourself some sex, man. You got yourself some vagina, bro. The best thing I can tell you is, man, stop crying. Stop whining, bro. Be a man, bro. It's not the end of the fucking world. If you lost $20 yesterday, you're going to cry for the rest of your life about the $20 you lost? Or you're going to focus on moving forward? Making the twenty dollars back. It's the same thing, you know. If you you relapse and you know you drain your energy, you can move forward and get that energy back, or you can dread every day about how you lost the energy. The choice is yours. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Alpha Nation. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, drop down in the comment section what you need advice on, what your life for me is touching. The next video to next time, Alpha Sensei salute.